Welcome to a very snowy edition of Earth Unplugged. We're here in the Kengorms at Mar Lodge for Winter Watch. Um, the plan for today is to go and find Gary Moore, who is a wildlife audio recordist, and put a very small mic into a frozen carcass that we've got a camera on out into the wilds. So basically, look, here's the image of the carcass cam at the moment. Yep. We've got some microphones pointing at it, but they're about five meters away. 4.30 this morning, we had the tawny owl come in. And if you look at those quite nice tight shots, you really want the sound to match those shots. So as you can see, at the moment, this is the nearest mic pointing at the carcass. Yep. And there's the, the camera, as you say, that we, look, we looked at earlier on, pointing yep. at, the, at the carcass. So you can imagine when that tawny flies on there, yeah, that microphone will pick up the initial flight in, but when we go nice and tight on that, tawny picking away mm -hmm. of course that microphone will never pick it up so what I've done here is I've got a tiny little personal microphone the same as you'll see you know same as we're wearing now and I've just got a plastic bottle cut the top off I'm going to use the plastic top as a sort of protection against the water or the snow or the rain a little gap in the bottom in case any water gets in and I'm just going to run the mic from the carcass to that log and then another cable to the hub which is over there where all the main signals nice. are sent back so let's um let's have a look at the gruesome now we can tell from the camera angle we know the tawny has been feeding here on the rib cage and the chest cavity now we've also had a jay that's been coming in this little area here and feeding here mm -hmm. if i go too far i might not get the jay yeah so i think what we'll do is she's not staked down look if i literally just get that there Use that part of the leg, yep. so it's given us a little bit of shell to look, and that's going to point in there. So there's someone up at the um, up at the lodge that mans the cameras day and night, so they they log when an animal comes in. Absolutely. So I guess what will happen is they'll see a tawny, hopefully, or yeah. other animals come in, and they'll they'll make sure they record the audio. Absolutely. So they can come and... It's not constantly recording. They sit there, monitor the screens, they, and they'll just hit the button. As soon as they hit the record button, now this microphone is going to be wired into that hub. So as soon as they hit record, it'll, it'll record that microphone and also that one as well. So between the two, they should get the flying and they should get the feeding. About making sure that what you see and what you hear go together and yet we know before we've seen some footage before that mic was put in and you'd had no idea that that clacking was even happening and it, and it brings the whole cliff alive yeah right? I'm surprised that that feeding is so loud because if you was another predator if you was a fox or something you'd hear that clacking from a good distance off it's been a real pleasure to spend some time with Gary today and see that beautiful tawny owl footage now if you want to find out more check out BBC Spring Watch on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe to Earth Unplugged. We'll put the links in the video description below.